Hi guys, my name is Sean. I'm a house plant enthusiast from Jakarta, Indonesia. I'd like to know out to the science behind how we can keep our house plants happy and to multiply them in our homes. So if you're into that kind of content, please do subscribe to my channel and send me likes. First of all, I'm sorry about all the noise going on around the house. There's every pos there's a helicopter going on right now. Any possible noise that could happen is happening right this second. But I have to film because I've got a million things to do, so I apologize for the noise. Um, today's experiment is going to be very interesting. It's going to be a few months in the making. Okay, in today's video, I'm going to be uh, doing an experiment on the vitamin B1. And this is very, very controversial because a lot of people are claiming that vitamin B1 helps de-stress the plants and help them grow faster and bigger so they would uh, water it, uh, water the plants with vitamin B1 and spray the leaves. So um, most nurseries that I've encountered are people who are older, in, not older, who have reputation in the industry, it's been around for a long time, they definitely recommend B1 because it's been handed out generation to generation. However, a lot of the newer science is showing that there's, it's most likely a placebo in that there's no scientific proof. Uh, vitamin B1 is supposed to be a hormone that a plant produces that will help it grow. However, it is not known that vitamin B1 can be absorbed into plants and used by the plants and help it grow. So, I'm not a scientist, uh, disclaimer, and I'm not using this video to bring down any companies or uh, to disprove anybody because something may be flawed with this experiment. It's meant to only entertain and maybe gently inform you on what's going on with vitamin B1. So in today's experiment, I'm going to be potting up these two propagates, uh, Skindapsis. They were both propagated at the same time in water, and the water has no nutrients in it. So in one of the, uh, the pot here, I'm going to be, it's a control group, so it's going to have your regular sets of you know, nutrients and fertilizer, and that's it. I'm going to be watering it with regular water. And this one with vitamin B1, I'm going to be also using the same amount of fertilizer, the same soil, and I'm going to be putting them at the exact same place so you didn't, none of them are getting uh, more light than the others. But this one, I'm going to be giving it vitamin B1. So I'm going to, uh, and I'm going to apply it every two weeks or so uh, in the recommended dosage. So we will follow the progress of both these plants and see how they do in a few months to see if there's any difference in their growth patterns and, and the growth speed. Uh, and Again, I wanted to be as fair as possible in this experiment in that I chose the leaves that were very, very similar in size and the roots that were very, very similar in the, in the length and in the development so that I'm not really biased towards um, one of the pots. So without further ado, I'm just going to pot these up and then I guess, yeah, we will have to uh, check back in a few months. But meanwhile, I hope that you guys can start placing your bets <laughs> and let me know um, well, not let me know, but comment down below, maybe right now, like pause this video, comment down below and let me know if you think vitamin B1 works before we finish the video, before I show you the results. And you don't have to believe my results, by the way, because my, my uh, experiment, I mean, I'm not, I'm not conducting it a mass scale and I'm not using a lot of species and a lot of specimens, which actually a, a proper test should do. We should test hundreds of species and hundreds of plants in a double-blind study, that's how you would <laughs> test it. But in my case, because I'm, I'm just from home, I'm just I'm nobody, <laughs> I'm just an amateur botanist. So yeah, I'm gonna be sharing with this result with you again to, to just to entertain you guys, I guess, and just keep you guys informed. I kind of had a feeling I, I, I'm leaning towards B1 not working. And <laughs> let me get more potting mix. And actually vitamin B1 I do buy them and it makes me feel like I'm the best plant parent in the world because I'm doing everything I can, you know, to give my plants the best uh, treatment and care. And also a lot of people told me this, this and that about B1. So I do use them now and then. I believe they're a placebo because I, am a, I believe in science numbers and all that stuff. So we'll see, we'll see at the end of the experiment um, how I feel about vitamin B1. Okay, there you have it. I'm done and I'm going to be placing them side by side by a window and I'll see you guys in a few months. So here is the one that was given fertilizer. It's got worm casting in there. It's got slow release fertilizer and I do put in some chemical fertilizer. Very, very diluted. Whenever I water this plant, I do see some fungus gnats uh, flying around. This plant needs a lot more watering than that one because that one's not so thirsty. The potting mix is wet for a longer period of time. 
And of course, this one is a little bit more infested with fungus gnats because I guess there's nutrients in there. So this one has put out one leaf. Well, maybe not fully, it's just unrolling. So let me see, and this one is also still soft. So this is the first leaf that it's put out. So in other words, they're putting out the first leaf that is on the way to opening up. Next, we have the vitamin B1. So this is cared for exactly the same way as the one that we gave fertilizer. It's got nutrients, except the only difference is I did add a few drops of vitamin B1 whenever I water this guy. It's already put out one leaf that's hardened up and there's a second leaf coming along the way. This is blowing my mind. So it's very apparent to me that this is actually growing a little bit faster than the ones that were not grown in vitamin B1. So welcome to a 14 weeks update on the Skindapsis. So these are the two plants and the one over here, this is the control on the right hand side and this is the one that is in vit vitamin B1. I would say in terms of appearance, they look kind of the same. And I do notice that they got more and more thirsty as the months go by, as they become more established plants. Now I pretty much have to water them every day or every other day, otherwise they get super thirsty. So let me do a leaf count so we know exactly how many leaves we have in total. Keep in mind that we started out with two leaves. Two, four, six, eight, 10. 10 and a half with one that is coming along the way. So this is 10 and a half. And this one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and a half. I would say this, these two are half, so 10. So this has 10 leaves. This one actually has 10 and a half leaves. And as you can see, this one may be a little bit bigger. I don't know if it's just me. Yeah, but this one is a little bit bigger than this one, uh, the control. So. I don't know how I feel about the vitamin B1. It definitely helps a little bit maybe. If it's got like half a leaf more than the control group. But let me look at the pot. Uh, let me look inside the roots to see what it looks like. Beautiful root porn here. Very nice. It's actually very, very tight. Everything is very, very close, close together. I have to upsize this pot actually soon. Now, as you can see, this is why they, it's so thirsty every day because it just sucks up all that water really fast. And then for this one, let's have a look at the roots. Okay, so the roots are a little bit more sparse than before. I, it's not as tight as the other ones. I guess my verdict is that vitamin B1 may help a little bit. Keep in mind, I use the word may. I don't, I'm not 100% sure, uh, but you know, if it makes you feel better and if you have the extra money lying around or if it's a plant that is very precious to you, go ahead and use vitamin B1 on it because it won't really harm the plant anyway, but it's, it may help it grow faster. So yeah, I'm at Botanist on Instagram. If you want to DM me on any questions regarding plant care and propagations, I'll try my best to get back to you. Meanwhile, do take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next video. Bye.